me in the sprinter with my entourage Face all on my stomach, got a fancy on my feet Yo, what's up everyone, it's Blue Nova and I'm here to bring you guys a new tutorial on how to get similar vocal effects, if not the same, to Smino's song called Z4L. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe so we can hit 20,000 subscribers and hit the bell notification icon so that you're notified every time there's a new video. But I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into it. This video might take a while because Smino, he has a lot of layers in his vocals, so there's going to be a good amount of effects and chains on here. But let's turn off everything we have here on the master. Very simple, just convolver and a limiter. Uh, but we're going to right click and just work on the solo vocal right here. And we're going to turn off all the other effects. We're just going to start with auto tune. Smino's vocals, you shouldn't have that much auto tune on your vocal, depending on your voice. So you can crank this at about, doesn't matter. I had it at 16. You can have it like at 20, but you want to make sure your vocals sound natural and um, just energetic because that's what he does so as far as uh, Z4L the key is B and the scale is ma uh, major I mean not major but minor and these are the settings if you don't have if you don't have Antares Autotune which my version is pretty old then you can use Pitch in FL Studio which will replicate the same effects but aside from that I'm going to play the lead vocal right here you set me in the sprinter with my entourage Face all on my stomach, got a fenty on my feet Makeup on my acne like I'm trying to hide a zit Wear my clothes to baggish, I'm trying to hide my zit now baby Alright cool, so that's the first thing we have The next thing we want to do is use a compressor So what I did is use the Arvox in, um, in Waves, the Waves plugin So what you want to do is just bring the compressor down on your vocals until it's really just hitting the peaks of your vocal. So that's what I did to even out the entire thing. So I'll play the vocal with the compressor. You set me in the sprinter with my entourage. Face all on my stomach, got a fenty on my feet. You can see where it's like Makeup reaching. on my acne like I'm trying to hide a zit. Wear my clothes too baggish, I'm trying to hide my zit. Now baby, I'm too fucking grown to teach you how to ride it. So... What I did just brought the compression down to negative 13.7 just to even out the uh, the vocal and it also brought up the volume uh, in terms of the gain on here. So that's very important to understand. The next thing we're going to do is use a Fruity Parametric EQ too. Now, Smino's vocals, you just want to EQ enough out of the low end frequency. So what I did, I just did some dipping around uh, 232, did some around 3301. And right here at 501 and really what you want to do his vocals sound very natural and smooth it doesn't sound like there's a lot of uh, hard processing on his vocals and high-end frequency so this first EQ is just to kill out some of that bad harmonics you set me in the sprinter with my entourage face all on my stomach got a fenty on my feet makeup on my acne like I'm trying to hide is it wear my clothes too baggish I'm trying to hide my zit now baby I'm all right, cool. So after that, we're going to have a second EQ. Now, this one is just to boost the uh, the vocals. So like I said, I know before I was saying his vocals sound pretty smooth and you don't want to do too much processing as far as his vocals. But in the high end frequency, what we're going to do is just boost it at the 10K region, 10 to 12K region. That's going to be like the uh, the airy and crispiness of your vocals. Usually, most of the time, is going to be around 15K. But right here, we're boosting it at uh, 10 to 12K. And that's just going to bring in some presence. Right here, uh, we're going to boost that. We're gonna have this boosted to about two decibels. That's just to bring in some presence and a little bit of the higher end frequency of the vocal. So this is what the vocal will sound like. You set me in the sprinter with my entourage. Face all on my stomach, got a fenty on my feet. Makeup on my acne like I'm trying to hide a zit. Wear my clothes too baggish, I'm trying to hide my zit now, baby. All right, now after that, we're gonna have a fruity limiter. Now what we're gonna do right here, just bring up the, uh, the volume of our vocal until it's hitting the ceiling what you want to do is bring your release all the way down to zero so that it still keeps a natural presence without your vocals being heavily um i guess you can say without your vocals being affected too much the attack in the head you can leave those alone but the ceiling just make sure that's dropped down to negative three i usually keep my vocals at negative three because i like it being loud and it also works uh, it sounds very similar so you set me in the sprinter with my entourage Face all on my stomach, got a fenty on my feet. Makeup on my acne like I'm trying to hide a zit. 
Where are my clothes to baggish? I'm trying to have my zit now, baby. I'm so you can you can see and hear that these vocals are pretty hard and they're pretty pushed to the ceiling. But we're gonna take care of that with a de -esser. Uh You can get this de -esser online. It's called Spitfish. It's a very cool de -esser to use. It's free. So I'd recommend you guys to pick this up. Uh, just search it up on Google and you can find it. But this is what I did as far as the de -essing. I just brought the uh, sense a little bit up in the depth. I wish I could explain it a little bit more. But um, what you want to do with your vocals to de it, you can use the listen option right here and it can hone in on the hard siblings in your vocals. So we're just going to listen to it and I'll take it off after. Now, with the amount of de I did use some hard de on here. And what that did is it also softened up the high end frequency in the vocals. So I guess you can use this to um, also soften up those high end frequencies in your vocal, but it also depends on your voice and your recording process. So just make sure if you're um, if you're recording, just kind of be a little bit careful with how much you're pushing the sense and the depth option right here. But as far as that, the lead vocal is taken care of. Smino's vocals, I didn't hear any reverb within his vocals as far as the um, as far as when all these harmonies come in. So like I said, it sounded very natural and clear. Uh, you probably don't want to have any reverb on his vocal if you're making something like this. After that, we're just going to work on the second backing vocal, which is a low male voice. And what you want to do, the only thing that's going to be different, you just want to have pretty much the same exact thing, but you want to take off the second EQ. And I know a lot of this is going to be, it's kind of hard to follow a lot of this stuff. But what you want to do is, um, if you do want to just get the entire kit, you can get that on BlueNovaBeats.com, which will have the entire raw vocals and everything inside the folder. But as far as the EQ, this is what I did. Just did some boosting, uh, just three decibels, not too much. And the only thing which is very important, which is Fruity Delay 2. Once you load in the Fruity Delay 2, you want to click this option right here, go to presets, then click widen. Once you do that, it's going to widen the vocal. You're going to hear it in your left and right signal of your headphones or your speakers. And it's going to make sure that it really just surrounds the vocal. So this is what the low male voice sounds like. You saw me in my sprinter with my eyes riding. Face all on my stomach, got a fancy on my feet. Makeup on my acne like I'm trying to hide a zit And without it Where am I close to baggage? I'm trying to hide my zit Now baby, I'm too fucking grown to teach you how to ride it Alright, then after that we have the uh, We have a singing high vocal right here And what you want to do You want to pan this to about 30% to the right Because Smino's vocals there's A lot of elements are panned left and right So you want to make sure you do that and also uh, with this one, just to give it a little bit more taste within a vocal, I turned the stereo all the way to the left to 100%. You don't want to do this all the time, but if you're having a lot of vocal harmonies like him, it would be cool to have something that's really wide in some areas, just in certain vocals. So this is what it sounds like. And let's move over to the section. Where it says, My zip now, baby, I'm too fucking grown to teach you how to ride it. Need a freaky college boot for frolicking, booty rollick, yeah. And right here with this vocal, this is a high pitched singing vocal. So right here, um, you want to have a fruity chorus. And with the settings, it's really just the same. As soon as it loads up, you just want to keep it as is. And this is what it'll sound like, the high pitched vocal. Mm, I'm too fucking grown to teach you how to ride it. Need a freaky college boot for frolicking, booty rollick, yeah. So yeah, that is just a high pitched vocal I noticed in his, uh, within the stacks. So you want to have that, and I noticed in his vocal it had the chorus sounding effect. So this is the closest thing you'll get. Mm -hmm. and there's another one. Let's rewind this back a little bit. So yeah, just you can add a second high pitch singing into your vocal and just make sure to pan this one a little bit, um, just 30% to the left so that it also uh, snatches, it also snatches back in and corresponds with the 30% right over here. So just keep that in mind. The very last thing is just the ad lib set that we have right here. And this one is just a fruity chorus. These are just some short ad libs that come in that I noticed. So these right here. Uh, uh, uh. 
And you want to have those low to probably around like negative 12. All right. So after we have all that, this way the entire vocal set will sound like all together. You had a rap. Let's start from the very beginning. And this without anything on the master. She set me in the sprint with my entourage. Face all on my stomach, got a fenty on my feet. Makeup on my acne like I'm trying to hide a zit. Where my clothes to baggage? I'm trying to hide my zit now, baby. I'm too fucking grown to teach you how to ride it. Need a freaky college boo for frolicking. Booty brolic, yeah. And playing it with the instrumental. Now, I couldn't find the original instrumental online. But I just looped the beginning just so you guys can hear what it sounds like. She sent me in the spring and wear my entourage and shit. Face all on my stomach, got a fancy on my feet. Makeup on my acne like I'm trying to hide a zip. Wear my clothes to baggage, I'm trying to hide my zip. Now, baby, I'm too fing grown to teach you how to ride it. Need a freaky cuz. So, uh, the very last thing is just to have the fruity convolver and a limiter on it. So that's pretty much gonna be the last thing you wanna add. With the Fruity Convolver, you're just gonna use the EQ option and cut it at 15K because in every video I explain, every song nowadays is really just cut at 15K. So keep that in mind. It really just seals up the song. It really keeps the song a little bit more cleaner. The uh, Fruity Limiter, once you have that loaded in, just bring the release all the way down to zero and keep the attack in the head alone. So this will be the final quality of the entire mix. She sent me in the spring and wear my entourage and shit. Face all on my stomach, got a fancy on my feet. Makeup on my acne like I'm trying to hide a zip. And let's move to this section. And this is what it sounds like. Too baggage, I'm trying to hide my zip now, baby. I'm too fing grown to teach you how to ride it. Need a freaky college boo for frolicking. Booty brolic, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you need a song mix and master, just go to bluenovabeast.com. Go to the contact form on the very bottom of the page and you can send me a message through there. If you need any beats, you can just go to the store. And like I said, the uh, raw vocals will be inside with every vocal chain effect inside the folder. So you do want to get that. It's really cool that you'll have something physical to work with. But aside from that, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Face all on my stomach, got a fancy on my face